We would like to welcome our listeners to our first show for 2009. As many of you probably know, the Earth Frenzy radio show provides alternative radio broadcast, streamed live over the Internet, and then archived for podcast replay 24-7. Since our debut in July of 2007, we have offered our listeners a variety of quality show information on topics relating to our environment, such as climate change and global warming. We have also offered educational shows on subjects such as politics, health, and horticulture, to name just a few. We have delved into the deep to talk about matters relating to history, ancient and modern-day prophecy, the macabre, rogue planets, and psychic wonders. We have interviewed acclaimed authors and lecturers, singers, comedians, Hollywood personalities, prophets, and psychics environmentalists, and NASA scientists. As we begin another year of radio broadcasting, we will be interviewing some very interesting guests on a wide range of topics that will both educate and entertain our listening audience. And as we expand our horizons, we hope that you will continue to grow with us. Our guest on today's edition has has been a frequent uh, participant on our show and is well known across the internet as a leading authority on the subject of earth changes and earth science. Nancy Lader has appeared on numerous radio and public broadcasting affiliates across the nation to speak on the subject of Planet X and its well documented passage through our solar system every 3600 years. A planet described as Wormwood or Nibiru planet of the crossing by theologians, prophets, and ancient scribes. Nancy is also a self-described emissary of the alien life forms of Zeta Reticuli and has encountered uh, several uh, third uh, uh, encounters of the third kind while as a child living in Wisconsin. The Zetas have communicated with Nancy on many occasions to describe the many earth changes that will occur leading up to the passage of this rogue planet known as Planet X. And thus, Nancy's association with the name Zeta Talk has become very familiar across the Internet. Planet X doesn't get much media publicity outside of the usual conspiracy theory forums or groups that are dedicated to speaking out on this subject. It's not a topic that scientists, astronomers, or government agencies care to speak about, or have a desire to do so for many reasons that our guests will further elaborate on during this show segment. One thing is for certain, the Earth is going through some significant and awe-inspiring changes in recent years, including increased and more powerful earthquakes, massive tsunamis like the one witnessed in December of 2004 in the Indian Ocean that killed some 270,000 people, Increased volcanic activity on a global scale, devastating floods, storms, tornadoes, and hurricanes. All of these natural events are occurring as we speak. But just how natural are these events? The media, including a host of scientists and environmentalists across the world, are telling us that global warming is to blame primarily caused by mankind by their consumption of fossil fuels and the devastation of tropical forests in Brazil, Indonesia, and other equatorial regions of the world. The scientists and leading authorities on climate change are telling us that greenhouse gas emissions have gotten so bad that they are blanketing our Earth's atmosphere, keeping the heat from escaping, and thus leading to the melting of the poles. Al Gore, in his Academy Award-winning documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, supports the notion that global warming has increased significantly since the early 1990s, contributing to a climate change that will soon be out of control, whereby mankind will be subjected to violent and destructive storms, rising seas caused by a global meltdown, a food shortage due to crop failure, increased pestilence and disease 
due to the migration of plant and animal species and extinction of species on a scale never seen in our lifetimes. All of this to occur before the year 2025, according to the leading experts on these matters. Now we can all speculate on what we believe is causing these great disturbances, but does anyone really know for sure? Is global warming caused by man? Is he the culprit? Or are there celestial forces at work that could be causing these disturbing changes? If so, could this explain the Earth's erratic wobble that we are now experiencing? And could this be causing the dramatic climate changes we are now hearing about every day? Our guest today may provide some clues on the whys and wherefores of what is happening on a grand scale. And so we would like to welcome back to our show, Nancy Lader. Hi, Nancy. Oh, so delighted to be back. Maybe we can start the show today by uh, referencing why you believe that this, this selling, if you, if, you, if you want to call it that, of global warming to the public by scientists and the mainstream media is nothing more than misleading propaganda in order to keep most of us in the dark about what is really happening. Exactly. And uh, it really, I got this information from my friends from Theta Reticuli, uh, the, whom I'm, uh, I'm a contactee uh, and have been since childhood. Uh, and they informed me uh, during my lifetime and gave me a holographic vision of what will happen to the Earth, that there is the, a rogue planet that goes through our solar system every 3,657 years or so, and it is a big magnetic uh, planet, four times the diameter of Earth, and it has a sling orbit so that it doesn't go round and round our sun. It flies by a, slightly from the south to slightly to the north from the direction of Orion on out and turns around and goes back again after seven years, and we don't see it again for about 3,600 years or so. It has two foci, our sun and another that is a unlit sun, uh, and therefore we can't see it, our sun's binary, that it passes in a sling orbit that is back and forth like a pendulum. When it comes through, it causes crustal shifts, which are termed pole shifts. It's not really that magnetism north goes south and south north and the like. What happens is that as it passes, it pushes our north pole away so violently from its north pole, north poles of magnets not, not wanting to be anywhere near each other, not wanting to be pointing or, or at or touching each other. It pushes our north pole away so violently that the crust separates from the core and slides. This explains scientific enigmas like ice ages. Uh, and, you know, why was Wisconsin covered with ice or France covered with ice? And wandering poles where the magnetism seemed to be pointing in different directions. And why are there uh, um, woolly wet mammoths up in the Arctic Circle on Wrangell Island and with green grass in their tummies, you know, where grass never grows and hasn't for hundreds of, mi hundreds of miles around uh, you know, it explains those enigmas. So uh, they stated that we have a pole shift or a crustal shift in our near future, predicted that Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, uh, the many names, you know, throughout literature and history and in folklore and prophecy, uh, would uh, come through and, uh, and arrive in our solar system in 2000 through May 15, 2003, shortly afterwards, well, it did, and, and I myself saw it on March 26th of that year, 2003, you know, coming from the direction of Orion, of a blinking uh, kind of uh, pulsing um, uh, on and off red blurry area, and people around the world saw it. Thereafter, uh, we got pictures. We had a second sun. Uh, people would see two suns rising at sunset or, or sunrise, rather, and, and setting at sunset. Oh, uh, uh, what, because this was all on the opposite side of the sun and the sunlight bounced from the dust cloud of red dust that, sh that shrouds this passing planet uh, back to Earth, it is still in our solar system, very close to the sun, coming at us outward, outbound, uh, and causing numerous Earth changes, which the Zetas warned about. One is uh, high tides, you know, way above 